All right. Hi, this is Patrick at Radicards.com, and here with two special guests today. We've got, of course, we've got Dan Grimo, my buddy at, at Sports Securities, and here we have Mr. Chris Olds from Becca Media. And today we're going to be opening a box of uh, 1997 UD3 Upper Deck UD3 baseball. So, you excited? Three of us. Three of UD3. us. Three of us. You know, this might be the first time I've opened a box of this. Yeah. Believe it or not. Ba basketball, I did heavily because you could get this at like Kmart and stuff, right. especially in the like was it the vintage company, the the re you know the re not repacks, but like the old video. Uh, uh, this is where I cut normally. The um, poster packs. <laughs> no, they would do hobby boxes that the sell them at retail. Oh yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. This brand was heavily at Kmart, and I bought a lot of them for basketball. For baseball, where I lived, they didn't get it. So, but this is like an acetate. So. Is it? Yes, it's very mixed. The three is, I, I believe, a reference to three different designs, and uh, kind of a non-traditional, non-traditional pack approach, especially for them. They're boxes. Like Have it. you opened this before? I haven't opened this yet before. Literally, and I don't even know how many are in here. It's, it looks like it's a bunch. Um, these are the ones with the, the bronze, silver, and the gold with the die cut. It's kind of tearing. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, stuck in there. This was just a weird, really quirky, kind of probably expensive to make kind of box back in the day. Thank you. The fight over the last stack. All right. I guess that stack's mine. But, but uh, <laughs> that there. Oh, well, I'll just put this here. But yeah, this, I'm is, this is kind of different. I mean, it's literally, it's a, this, this packaging was not the norm back then. Wow. I don't, yeah, I never did do baseball. I would, I would have remembered that. All that from the little teeny pack. So, Three different designs. We've got right. these acetate cards, which look pretty bad with the covering on it. So I'm going to dare to peel. Like You're going to green. <laughs> I got an A-Rod. Um, I bet this was a big pull back in the day. Oh my gosh, yeah, let's see what it looks like. Yeah. I've never seen a peeled it's, one. It's acetate with, with a kind of a foiled surface, sort of. Fantastic. When, you, when you're holding it up I, right here, I can actually see the image, but on the front, you really can't. It's kind of ghosted. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. It's, it's, this is the start of kind of crazier technology in cars. I mean, they they had, had this other stuff before, yeah. but. I also got a, a Raul Mondesi. Um, not that he's anybody big, but back in the day, I used to watch him play in Albuquerque at the Dukes. Yeah. So, uh, as a kid, it brings back a lot of uh, memories. And basically, each pack has three different designs. That's right. where the three comes in. So oh, that's the interesting. Yeah. Pearl motion yeah. is kind of a crazy foil, foil, etched foil front. There's a, a lot of cards that have had that style since, but this is, you know, I don't want to say it's the earliest, but it's an earlier type of card like that. And then the uh, this other design, what is it? The it's the base Home card. Art Heroes. Oh, is that the? They're basically, it's, it's all oh, right. base cards, I believe. It, they're, they're subsets, I think. Basically, yeah, I think it's subsets. I could be wrong. It's been forever. But, sure. But a uh, kind of a kind of a boss foil kind of action, kind of wood, fake wood, so to speak. So, really cool. Really cool. And all that, I've opened one pack. <laughs> right, here comes the uh, here comes the troublemaker. You'll probably get photo bombs. Get a generation next. Uh, Andy Pettit. It's kind of a cool uh, insert. Uh, Definitely has that foil as well. Wow, uh, two but in packs, great condition. Two angels. Nice. Eric Burstead. I got a Kenny Lofton Pro Motion and a Jermaine Die Future Impact. I think they knew something in '96. Here is a guy who hit 52 homers that year. I've never killed these before. Mr. Mark David McGuire. Oh, that's my man. You've got to know the middle names if you grew up in the Donruss years, right? That's Actually, right. I only know a few of them, but that's one of them. Yeah, those are interesting. They, the, the peel is kind of loose, typically. Um, kind of roll on. Roll your, roll your finger on it. Or just turn oh, it Oh, the yeah. There it is. Yeah. The the finest ones back in the day, this is kind of them copying finest, if you, if you want to sure. think. Those you had to, like, peel off. Right. And sometimes they wouldn't come off. But these kind of easily come off. Right. It's a nice concept. I like it. No ma. No ma. Nomar so young that it's a mugshot, basically. <laughs> Gary Sheffield, Gary Larkin. I mean, there's there's a ton of good names. I saw an open box of this sitting on the uh, ta counter table. So interesting. It, this this with three cards in a pack. This at the time would have been a high high high, high, end. high end pack. It was probably only about five six bucks, but still at the time that was a bigger deal. Yeah, maybe ten. I you know where I lived, I didn't have a hobby shop. I was pretty much a retail hunter. Um, not twenty million. Luis Castillo, Todd Hundley. Roberto Alomar when he was on the uh, Baltimore Royals. Yeah, just a small stint. 
And then uh, Barry Bonds. Uh, Frank Thomas. Oh, yeah. Big Hurt, that's Pat's guy. Like, these boxes, I, this is this, this is the per perfect, these is, you can tell I haven't had the caffeine today. <laughs> um, this is kind of the perfect example of the, the, the time frame where they're premium cards, but it's not the hits world yet. Right. There are autographs in here, but they're not easy to pull. Really? Um, and there's only a couple, but, you know, it's, this is kind of a brand where, like, with these, these foil cards, like the real serious etched foil, I'd be interested to see how these things grade and whether there's a good population reports. Right. Cal Ripken, that yeah. comes at 9.5, could be a you know, $50 card. Right. And it was a $15 or $12 box. $12 box. Right. And this is stuff you don't see every day either. You could probably find it if you search eBay. Right. I'm just chucking the packs off camera. Another angel here, Tim Salmon. I just thought he was great. I remember when I was younger uh, seeing his uh, 92 Fleer traded card. It yeah. was a huge card and it was worth way over what I could pay for it. Speak of traded, although I don't think he was actually traded, but a, a kind of a last stop kind of card. Paul Molitor as a Minnesota twin. He was out. He wasn't there very long. No, Before no, the end of his career, so. he went back. So that's an interesting scene. Oh, Manny Ramirez. Jay Buhner, Andy Pettit. This this should be a pretty good time capsule. I'm gonna start over the next yeah, do it. Yeah. Um, this should be this should be an interesting time capsule because I don't think it's a very big uh, set. So you'll probably have you know guys like uh, you know the, the names you would expect to see and other guys like Ray Ardonez who were promising at the time but never really delivered. Well, here's one. Here's a new uh, insert set. There generation. You go. Next generations. This is a Rocky. Coppinger, never heard of him. He yeah. didn't make it. <laughs> nice chipper Jones. That is a classic example of yeah. 20 years later, the prospects didn't necessarily pan out. These are pretty cool. These are kind of good, like the blue foil on there all the way to the edge, much like the promotions do. Scott Rowland, Pudge Rodriguez, and Andre Scott. Oh, okay. Derek Jeter. Uh-oh. There you go. See, that's the kind of card. Star of the box. Right it's a nine there. five. <laughs> it's a win. That's a no peel. <laughs> I I peel all these because the, yeah. the, the, with, the, with the thing on it, they just they, they don't look. They don't look good. as good. Yeah, it's true. But the minute you peel them, then you just see the scratches potentially. On the right. They tend uh, great. They grade maybe higher for peel, right? Uh, you know, Possibly. I don't know. What, I don't know what the policy is on that. So know uh, that for. 97 Pinnacle totally certified you feel them they, they, they typically come back with higher grades at least yeah, they, yeah. that's what I've seen anyway. really it wouldn't shock me I'm not sure that I'm, I'm sure they have some kind of policy because uh, the whole peel or don't peel thing was a trend in the early 90s right here's a classic card that probably won't ever go out of style but Dane Corner would George Kenneth Griffey Jr. he's got his hat on backwards the kind of memorable pose and a couple action shots in the back and something I just noticed, if these had been on acetate, you'd see the action shot at normal. You flip it over, it's like it should be flipped, but it's actually the correct image. Corrected. The way it looks is it's like acetate, but it's actually not. Good observation. Yeah, super good. Last pack. Uh -huh. Got a young Bernie, Bernie Williams portrait there on this promotion. Early in his music days. <laughs> He had a Ginter card this year, and he was listed as a musician. Really? No yeah. kidding. I guess the Yankees fans working for Tops just had to have more, <laughs> right? Jason Kendall, oh, my, yes. my ankle hurts. Uh, Ron Gant, and uh, last but not least, Ellis Burks. Good pull there. What do you think about this box, at Chris? Well, you know, it, as I was saying earlier, it, I mean, it's such a small set that it should, you should get a pretty good amount of like the big names. I think it's probably 150 cards, I guess, maybe even less. Um, you know, I've never ripped it in person, not in the full quantity of a box, I don't think. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's a fun one. I, for grading, this is one to, to chase, because the, the right. inserts, if you get the right guy, they'll be expensive, because they're, they're not plentiful. Right. Or if you get Jeters or, you know, certain key players, 12 bucks a box, throw in a, you know, a grading fee of 10, 15 bucks, longer, longer service time. You know, you get a Derek Jeter 9, 5, or 10, it could be a fun card. Right, right. right. It's smart. Yeah. It's definitely a market for those. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for sitting down with ah, us. No worries, box. Chris. Appreciate no worries. It. Didn't put me on the hot seat or anything. No, no, no. Really no. appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you again for watching another episode of Radicards TV. Until next time, enjoy collecting. Take care. Bye.